Hi guys, uh, just a quick unboxing video here. Um, as you can see, I've got an array of props in front of me, including my brand new T-Motor Carbon Fiber 11 by 3.7 props. Um, the little array that I've got here, for those that don't know, this is an eight inch DJI Phantom prop, same as the black ones that come with the 450 kits. This is a Grockner nine by five. This one here is another DJI, this is the 1038, again this is the one that comes with the 450 kit. Um, what we have in here is the 11 inch version of the T-Motor prop. So let's take a quick look, nice box to carry it in. Um, we've got the various fitments in the bag. These are all reducer rings here basically, depending on the type of T-Motors that you have. Um, if you've got the very big heavy lift ones, you can actually attach the prop by um, by two screws straight into the motor. Um, if you've got the MT versions like I have, then you fit it onto the spline itself um, and you need a reducer ring because the spline on the MTs is five mil and I believe the hole on the props is six. So you then get two rather nice velvet bags with the motifs on there fairly pointless let's face it we don't really care about how they're carried but if you did want to take them off given the price of these then it's uh, quite nice to know that you could carry them in these little cases okay so there we go and that is our carbon fiber prop as you would imagine very lightweight i haven't actually weighed them yet but i will do and i'll post the uh, the weight on my uh, rc groups blog not as laminated as I thought they would be actually they're very matte finish um, but that isn't necessarily to say it's a bad thing so that's it so let's just line them up so we can see the size comparison as you can see they are pretty big these are just about gonna fit on my Zugon 10 um, designed for 10 inch props but it will actually fit the 11 inch props um, hopefully that's going to give me a much better heavy lift capability. I'm running around the 1.9 kilogram mark now um, with all the kit that I've got on it. So I'm looking for a little bit more thrust. Obviously with the, the T motors that I've got, they're a little bit more powerful. I've got the 800 kVs, um, which are always better suited to something a little bit bigger. I've been running the 9x5s recently, getting about 8 minutes flight time from a 4000 MAH 4S. Um, hopefully this will give me a slightly smoother flight as well as a little bit more a little bit more pulling power with the weight underneath but we shall see anyway that's the T-Motor carbon fiber props quick video on fitting the actual 11 3.7 CF props from T-Motor um, you'd think they were fairly straightforward they are fairly straightforward to fit but there are various different things you've got to do depending on the motors that you've got um, i'm running the t-motor 2216s um, very similar to the 2212s in their actually makeup um, if you're running the mn motors the bigger motors then you're going to end up using these plates um, which actually the holes line up exactly across there and you just screw straight into the motor very nice too um, if you're using the MT versions like I am then what you do is you've got the spline which is a 5 mil spline that's got to go through the hole on the prop which is a 6 mil hole so what you end up using is one of these little brass um, reducers which comes in the kit now the problem is with those <coughs> is they fit down on here and they are a snug fit um, I found it quite difficult to work them down on all of them um, it took a bit of effort you had to sort of screw it down three of them were fine one of them literally just would not go around that base spline it was sitting just up on the thread now whatever you do don't let it just sit on the thread because if you do that and you think it's feeling secure it won't be it's going to fall off the, the, the props going to spin you're going to have a crash simple as that they need to be all the way down to the base and you need to make sure they can travel all the way down to the base um, the next problem that you're going to find as i did uh, a little bit harder to demonstrate um, is let me just put this prop in here basically there is a hugely tight fit on the spacer and the six mil hole 
uh, you won't push that in with your finger simple as that and obviously you need to get it in and you need to get it in very flat as well so a little tip for uh, what I did to uh, to resolve this problem first of all I'll show you what I've managed to do so that is one that's actually in there Let's hold it up to the light a bit better as you can see perfectly flat and basically all I do is create my own little press so we take stand motor doesn't matter which one we then add one of the retaining nuts screw it all the way down to the bottom doesn't need to be particularly tight then we take the top piece turn it upside down lay it flat like that so we've now got a nice flat base we then take our little ring we then take our prop and we just ease it on there ever so slightly what we want to be able to do is basically be able to pick it up so it's actually inside the prop but not all the way we don't want to put too much pressure on that motor then all we do the remaining space we take the next the uh, another top this is off another motor so you're going to need to take it off another motor put that on the top and that leaves you with a tiny amount of thread just to be able to get one of your nuts on and then what you do, I can't do it now because I'm holding a camera, is you screw that down and that will actually act as if it's a perfectly level press um, and it will push that brass spacer all the way up perfectly into the bottom of your, um, of your prop and you end up with a nice flat level base. Um, uh, the options are many you could try and tap it in yourself you could push it on a table you could do anything I would advise strongly to use this it makes sure that you've got a perfectly centered level playing field to play with um, and that you're not going to end up with a bunch of wobble which is of course not something you want on very expensive props so uh, so yeah I shall carry on with that and we'll see how it comes out